According to a tweet posted on Russian social media on October 19, 2023, a command version of the Wolf Armored Vehicle was spotted in service with the 22nd Light Infantry Battalion, 2nd Infantry Brigade of the Georgian Defense Forces. The Wolf Vehicle has been in service with the Georgian Defense Forces since 2014, but this is the first appearance on Georgian terrain of a specialized command version. The Wolf Armored Vehicle, produced by Israeli company Karmir, was initially launched in 2005 to replace the aging American M113 APCs in the Israeli Defense Forces IDF. Built on the chassis of the American Ford F550 series heavy-duty truck, the Wolf combines the speed and maneuverability of a commercial truck with the armor protection of an armored personnel carrier APC. The Wolf IMV, Infantry Mobile Vehicle, is a robust and versatile vehicle, designed to meet the multifaceted demands of modern warfare. Under the hood, it boasts a 6-liter V8 turbo diesel engine capable of delivering 325 horsepower. This power is managed through a 5-speed automatic transmission, driving all four wheels, making it a true 4x4 vehicle. In terms of dimensions, the Wolf measures 5.75 meters in length, 2.38 meters in width, and has a height of 2.35 meters. It weighs under 8.8 tons, making it a formidable presence on the battlefield. One of the standout features of the Wolf IMV is its modular armor, which extends throughout the entire hull. This armor offers comprehensive protection against a range of threats, including landmines and improvised explosive devices IEDs. An additional layer of survivability is provided by the vehicle's run-flat tires, allowing it to move out of harm's way even when the tires are damaged. The interior of the Wolf IMV is as versatile as its exterior is robust. It features a modular design that can be configured to suit a variety of operational roles. The vehicle can accommodate up to 12 personnel and has room for two patient litters when configured for medical evacuation. Additional amenities include air conditioning for hot climate operations and a rear-facing camera to assist in reverse driving. There are six doors, four on the sides and two at the rear, that enable troops to get in and out easily and quickly with all of their equipment. The vehicle interior is equipped with a double air conditioning system, seats, and brackets for items that a soldier might need. The specialized command version of the Wolf IMV, as revealed in the recent tweet, is expected to feature a range of enhancements tailored for command and control operations. These likely include advanced communication systems, state-of-the-art surveillance capabilities, and possibly an upgraded remote weapon station, RWS. These features make it an ideal choice for coordinating complex military operations and underline its adaptability for specialized roles. The Wolf Infantry Mobility Vehicle, IMV, has been adopted by a range of institutions across multiple countries, each with its own set of operational requirements. In Brazil, the vehicle is in service with the Military Police of Sao Paulo State. In Georgia, at least 13 units of the Wolf IMV are operated by both military and police units. Ethiopia has acquired five units for the Ethiopian National Defense Force and has plans for local production of an additional 70 vehicles. The Israeli Defense Forces, for whom the vehicle was originally developed, also utilizes the Wolf IMV. In North Macedonia, the vehicle is used by law enforcement agencies, although details are limited. Romania's military police units within the Romanian land forces have also adopted the vehicle. Additionally, Peru's military police have included the Wolf IMV in their fleet. The vehicle's adoption by both military and law enforcement agencies across different continents indicates its utility in a variety of roles and settings.